Hi, Ben from Lover of Tech. Welcome to my ultimate wire charging test between the Vivo X100 Pro, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let's get into it. Now for the battery and wire charging spec, starting with the Vivo X100 Pro, it is packing a 5,400 milliamp hour battery and does support Vivo's 120 watt flash charging, which does come included in the box with the correct USB-C cable to get the maximum charging speeds available. For the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, it is packing a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and does support Oppo's 100 watt SuperVoot charging, which does come included in the box and uses a USB-C to USB-A cable with the right ampage to get the fastest charging speeds available. And for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, it is packing a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and does support Samsung's super fast charging 2.0 standard, which charges at 45 watts. Now, this charger does not come included in the box and the cable that comes included in the box is around 2.4 to 3 amps, which is not enough to get the super fast charging 2.0 speeds. You do have to use the official 5 amp cable, which you do have to purchase separately. Now, this is exactly what I've done. So, for you USB-C warriors that tell me if I'm using the correct 5 amp cable. This is the official 5 amp cable from Samsung with the official 45 watt charging plug. As always, for the parameters of our charging test, any form of protect battery or optimized battery charging settings have been disabled in which will slow down to make sure that we get the maximum charging speeds available and any options that give us to enable the fastest charging speeds with a toggle on to ensure that we get the fastest charging speeds throughout has been enabled and at each interval, we will be taking the temperature as well as the battery charging reading. So yes, without wasting much time, let's get into it. Let's start things off with this ultimate wired battery charging test between the Viva X100 Pro, Oppo Find X7 Ultra and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. 120 watts flash charge on the Viva X100, 100 watts super VOOC charging on the Find X7 Ultra and 45 watts super fast charging 2.0 with the five amp cable on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, yeah. We're pretty much gonna know which one's gonna go first and finish up. We've got the magnification on the wattage reader. Look at the yellow part for the wattage reader for the watts being pulled from the wall for these devices. And first interval that we're pretty much gonna be looking at is gonna be 15 minutes. And we're gonna see that the charging difference is gonna be crazy considering the battery size of the Vivo being 5,400 milliamps and 5,000 milliamps on the Oppo as well as the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So yeah, first 15 minute interval, you have 63% battery on the Vivo, temperature reading of 40.2 degrees Celsius, and then 61% battery on the Oppo with a temperature reading of 37.9 degrees Celsius, that's really well controlled. And then 30% battery on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and a temperature reading of 35.8 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's a really well controlled in terms of the temperature on the Oppo. And even still, slightly a bit over 40 degrees, or we'll say on or around, the Vivo is actually doing really well considering the battery size that it's working with. So yeah, these manufacturers, when it comes to Vivo and Oppo, having a charger in the box, first of all, and at this charging speed is insane. So we're gonna see that the first to finish, it's gonna be so close in minutes together. It's gonna to be the Oppo Find X7 Ultra for finishing time of 29 minutes, 43 seconds, and a final temperature reading of 36.5 degrees Celsius in first place. Honestly, fast charging these phones is so less stressful than any other manufacturer. And again, I did this charging test directly after the battery drain test. So if you've not watched that, go watch that in the link in the description below and the cards above for these three devices. And then really not far ahead is going to be the Vivo X100 Pro with a finishing time of 30 minutes and 10 seconds, a final temperature reading of 37.2 degrees Celsius in second place. Now, if we compare it to where the Galaxy S24 Ultra is, it's on 53% battery at this halfway point, and it's a final temperature reading that we're getting at this at 36.5 degrees Celsius at this interval. Now, honestly, at this time, I was so tired after the difficulty of the battery drain test, and I wasn't really paying attention with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I've done so many charging tests with it that, you know, with this one, I kind of just let it cruise. The next interval was around just before 50 minutes, 84% battery reading, 35.6 degrees Celsius on a temperature reading. So I was just kind of coasting and relaxing because I've done so many of these 
Galaxy S24 Ultra, I've seen it charge as quickly as one hour, eight minutes or slightly less, slightly more. It fluctuates at the 60 minute mark, one hour, 93% battery and a temperature reading of 32.5 degrees Celsius. And you see at the start of this charging, it was saying one hour, eight minutes. Now at the end, it seems to be really throttling and you know, just tapering off much more aggressively than I've seen it usually because the finishing time with this ended up being one hour, 18 minutes and six seconds with a final temperature reading of 29.8 degrees Celsius in third place, the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now for the maximum wattage reading, I would say take it with a slight grain of salt as there might be a limitation in the maximum wattage my USB readers can actually read and detect. But with the Vivo X100 Pro, we did get a maximum wattage reading of 82 watts. And this was within the first five minutes of the charging test before it started to taper off. Same disclaimer goes for the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. We did get a maximum wattage reading of 77 watts and this was within the first two minutes of the charging test and then it started to taper off and manage around 60 watts. For the Galaxy S24 Ultra, we were getting flashes of 41 watts as a maximum reading. But again, this was coming in flashes and this was around the first 10 minutes of the charging test before it tapered off to around 30 watts and lower. As I stated before, I've done plenty of charging tests with the Galaxy S24 Ultra where I have seen it charge much quicker. So definitely go check out those previous charging tests. I did use the official 5 amp cable from Samsung with the official 45 watt fast charging for super fast charging 2.0. So yeah, this is just the results. It varies from time to time when it comes to Samsung. But when it comes to the Vivo and the Oppo, this is charging speeds that is very impressive. And considering these chargers come in the box, this is a very good look. What's your thoughts on the charging speeds and what's your ideal charging speeds that you would like to have on your flagship phone? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.